So we're off. We're just on our way to um, uh, Public Waybridge, and we're going to weigh the car and weigh the trailer. Oh shit! Right, let's pull up somewhere. Why are we over? I think so. Yeah, that's the trailer. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Big Bell town site. It's an old abandoned town site just outside of Kew. This is another wiki camps one, right on the edge of this lake. Another little free camp tonight, wiki camps again with the goods. This is Gascoigne River. We're just past the uh, Gascoigne Junction turn off. So this episode, we leave our camp on the Gascoigne River and we wake our way up to Mount Augustus Caravan Park for the night. And then the episode finishes in the Kennedy Ranges at Temple Gorge Campground. <laughs> So we're just set up at Mount Augustus Tourist Park for the next two nights. Um, it's not too bad, 40 bucks a night for a powered site. Um, they're the only caravan park and place you can camp in Mount Augustus, so they've sort of got the monopoly here. Um, the only fuel too, eh? The only fuel too. Um, the, the spots are pretty packed in tight. We're actually sharing a bay with this person next to us. I think they don't really have a very good booking system so they sort of just um when you arrive they sort of just say yeah just park over there and even if you're sharing a spot with someone lots of nice green grass which is good out here there's a chopper as well which does tourist flights um and it goes what about every 20 minutes every so. 20 minutes so from eight o'clock in the morning to about five o'clock at night you've got the chopper coming in and out um, and every time it lands and takes off, there's dust going everywhere. All over your dinner and your clothes that are drying. But yeah, it's not it's not too bad. It's it's all right. Go in there and lay down on your back and have a look at the roof co. Oh, oh have they been really careful? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. See, oh, oh, oh. Oh. 
Oh, did you see the skull, Gaz? Yeah. Look, you're right further. I climbed in it. Yeah. It's just all the same all the way through. And that's fluffy. Oh, there's still there's skulls all the way up here. All kangaroos. That's so creepy. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, there's, there's another one there as well. Thirsty cola. Oh, look. How cool is that? We'll leave them on the bench for someone else to have a look at, eh? Yeah. Tiff's just spotted a big monitor on the side of the river. Oh, he's got a big fat guts on him. Whoa! Where did he go? Down onto, right onto the bank and oh, back up. Look at him go! Oh my god! Do you reckon he's a racehorse? Oh, right under the oh, tree. Up the tree. How cool is that? Wow! That's what they do, eh? They go. Yeah. They reckon they get. They run a few. Yeah, yeah. If you get scared. Why'd you tell that after we're right near it? He is beautiful. It's like a dinosaur. Spaghetti for dinner, and then we're going to drive out to Emu Hill Lookout. The Emu Hill out! <laughs> Shot in the car, so. That is. So we packed up this morning from Mount Augustus Caravan Park and we've done 370 k's just about on gravel um, to get to the Kennedy Ranges. So we're going to set up camp there at Temple Gorge. I think he's a python, the size of him. Girls. Got to watch out for those um, big wedge tails because they'll eat until they're so full that they can't fly, and then they'll just hop across the road and they get connected by cars and trucks. They always slow down from when they're having a feed. What's your first impressions of this place? Beautiful. Isn't it? Drive blew us away coming in. Amazing. Campsite's pretty... It's full. Can't book here. And we've probably got the last one of three sites out of, I don't know, 20 odd people. So you probably want to try to get here earlier. But yeah, they're nice and 
it's pretty spaced apart. There's a communal campfire, but it collects your wood on the way in. And I think it's um, it's much more spectacular than Mount Augustus. So far it is, and the camping here is much nicer than the caravan park, eh? Mm. So yeah, we're really impressed so far. And there's a, how many walks are there to do? Have you had a look? Five or six. We'll do that tomorrow, some drives and some walks. Hmm. So we're just having some brekkie this morning and then we're going to go do a few walks. So we're doing a longer one today, Tiff. Three yeah. point four k's. This is my beanie. Yeah, I can see your beanie. So three point four k's escarpment trail. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. So we're going to start the day with a longer one and then see how we go. And look at this. Very cool, Chloe. Scrambling up rock ledges is required. Which one? <laughs> the one we're doing. Uh, oh, class four. We say we can go up that rock. I think that's a hard one. We can go up. Eh, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah. No, caravan. Just a couple of seasoned climbers without a toddler. Follow the line. So this escarpment trail is the longest one and goes to the top of this. Temple Gorge. All good. Definitely a class four, isn't it? Yeah, it's not too bad though. Up there. Hmm? Up there. Up there. Uh huh. Up here. Uh huh. Not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> what way we go now? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Keep going, just focus on this one first. What one? Wow. <laughs> Keep going, move away from the edge. Good girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I did it! Keep going. We're not at the top yet. Are you, are you at the top? Not yet. We've just reached the summit and there's four goats just right on top of it. Yeah. That is just crazy, eh? That's our Temple Gorge campsite. You can just see our car there. What? That was a really good walk. 
um, not too difficult. Chloe climbed most of the way up by herself, um, got carried just a little bit of the way and then Cam carried her the whole way down just because it's quite narrow and um, steep to get down with big steps. The rocks as big as her. Yeah, but it was really good. So far, we're loving this place probably a lot more than Mount Augustus. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, just a little bit more spectacular. More accessible too, eh? Yeah. You can camp right next to it yeah. and you can climb up right into it. So we're going to go back for lunch. Oh, I see the people at the top of that knob up there. Oh, yeah. Which one's that? I don't know. Oh, they got the drone. That'd be a sick shot, wouldn't it? So we're going to head back for lunch and then we'll do a few more walks this afternoon, I reckon. Oh yeah. yeah that, I think there's one camp just next to us. No, I don't think so. Oh, isn't it? So. so you just go around and pick a spot. Yeah, bro. We'll come see ya. Very cool. Two pays a turn. Oh, hang on. The left fork is easier option. It's a winding trail on the creek there. What's more interesting? Well, the right fork is longer. It's all bacon days. You alright? This is amazing. What is this? I'm going to have to look you up. Yeah. Wow. That's a good find. Smile, Can we go the other way, huh? No, you're all. Oh. You're the star attraction. Yum. Hello. <laughs> Isn't this yummy? Also, where it comes down there. Yeah. So we've rolled out of camp at Kennedy Ranges and uh, done our last. 60, 70 k's of gravel back into Gascoigne Junction, heading towards Carnarvon today. So all up, when we left Mekathara on the way to Mount Augustus to now, we've done about 800 k's of gravel. Um, I'll give you, when we get to Carnarvon, we'll have a bit of a poke around in the van and the car, and I'll show you a couple of little things that rattled loose and whatnot. But overall, we're really impressed with the van, uh, how it went off-road. Um, how many people did we see at the caravan park? Anna Kennedy Rangers that had vacuums mm. out, yeah. brooms, dust everywhere. Um, blowers, like electric vac blowers and stuff, blowing all the dust out of their vans. Um, and the un expensive ones, Australian built vans. Um, so we fared really well compared to a lot of other people. We got next to no dust into it. Yeah. None into the actual body of the van, just a little bit in one of the hatches. Um, I'll show you that in a bit anyway. But uh, We just got reception for the first time in six days. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Chloe's just figured out how to use her headphones. She'd never put them on before. So um, that's a milestone for all of us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we're stoked. Anyway, we're looking forward to getting to the beach now, eh? Yep. And it's starting to warm up. It's been quite warm the last couple of days in Kennedy Ranges. So a short drive today. Refuel, restock, get some water, and then uh, on to Wurra Station. Oh, and I've got to air my tyres up because I end up dropping my tyres probably about halfway through all this gravel because the corrugation's got a bit worse. So back up to highway pressures. So we got to Carnarvon Caravan Park and we left the van and did a bit of food shopping, got some fuel, and then we also went to the Masters or Home Hardware or whatever it was in town and we got a few different things. This is some black um, builder's plastic. 
and we've got some Velcro and we're going to stick it down to the floor to make this bed easier to slide in and out. Just going to give that a go because it's really hard to slide. But yeah, this was just a little overnighter really to break up the trip to Wara Station tomorrow. That's the destination. So leave pretty early in the morning after some brekkie and make the most of camping at Wirra. So just the one night here at uh, Capricorn Caravan Park in Carnarvon. Just basically, yeah, just getting fuel, uh, water, emptying the toilet, and had to go to the hardware store and get a couple of little things we wanted. So we've done all that, and uh, we're just having some brekkie now, and some coffee, and then we're gonna pack up and get out. So we'll be out of here for sort of 8.30, something like that. And we're heading straight to Wirra Station. Should be there just after midday, the way we go. <laughs> So we're really looking forward to that. We've got uh, three nights there. So anyway, I'll show you what this caravan part looks like and then we'll get going. <laughs> it's a not bad little site. We're nice and close to the amenities. What are looking at? I don't see anything about dump point. What about the big blue thing that says dump point? Oh. <laughs> Dead giveaway. That must be near us because we're here. No, we're here. Are we number five? No, we're that. Oh. Lang Trees Lane. <laughs> Only, you are quite close to the highway. The highway is just behind us, sort of ish that way. So there's a bit of traffic noise, but it's not bad. We're off to Wara Station now. 